Hello everyone and welcome back, Meet Department here. I'm so glad you could join me for another video today, guys. So Pet Simulator X finally came out with the long-awaited Halloween update in 2022, guys. We're going to take a look at some of the new and old aspects from last year. As you see, guys, I have a huge pumpkin cat already and that was actually hatched last year. The event ended with around a thousand huge pumpkin cats and somehow shot up to 2,000. And now I've been no noticing throughout the course of the day, it's 2,063 Right now that's already gone up about 20 or 40 since this event launched which means you guys are hatching them live right now but i had this bad boy from last year and it felt so good to have it it was so rare but we're gonna see a lot more so today we're gonna cover the best ways to get the halloween candy so you can do your non-stop hatching and try to get your own huge pumpkin cat and the huge grim reaper which is also new so besides the world being a little orangey face sky and all of that kind of stuff with the black and orange balloons well well, you'll see this building right here looks like a little spooky building with some creepy eyes looking through it's basically the halloween event so we can go ahead and enter it i'm in normal mode right now and here we go in the halloween event so this looks similar but i think maybe different from last year slightly i think it is a little bit different you'll see right here's a little graveyard it says return here in hard core mode so we'll want to do that and that's really how you do the quest as well guys to get the hoverboard which if we go to the hoverboard skins we could see there should be a new one the pumpkin cat hoverboard that's for this year so we'll have to work on that but right now we got the big games partner flame board on right now it is super fast so there's also spooky upgrades guys mine are already maxed out from last year's event as they do stick just like the sign says you keep the upgrades even after the event ends so beautiful i don't have to worry about that and then we have just some of the easy eggs pumpkin eggs right here you see everything's been hatched and all that um i did get a bunch of these last year but the one we're really focusing on is this bad boy up here this one right here the cursed egg it costs 880,000 of the candies and this is where you get the huge pumpkin cat and the huge grim reaper guys and you definitely want to try to get that so you want to maximize your currency is what i'm saying so you can actually sit here for as long as possible and hatch these bad boys open to try to get one because luck is luck. So how can you do it quickly and how do I already have over 200 billion guys? Well, that's a good question. So I have on a team of basically all hardcore pixel wolves. I grinded through the hardcore mode and they give me super power here in the regular world. I have on a few of the huge pets as well just because they are awesome looking and they can't hurt. So the best way I found to do it guys was to go to the pixel vault any huge chest that you can get to is probably gonna be your best option honestly and sit on it with your hardcore pets instantly break it and look at how much we get 2.49 billion for breaking it instantly guys 2 billion for the small ones so it is probably a little faster to actually sit here and click around or if you use the little macro technique where you stand here and get the macro going and you spin around in a circle clicking you're probably going to break things and get a lot more as well but the easiest way is honestly just to stick on the chest and click it and break it in no time you're going to have way more currency than you possibly need guys it's like you don't even have to do this for a long time and that's the beautiful thing about farming normal mode with hardcore pets because then you could go back and just sit there and sit on that cursed egg and open them for a long time it's going to last you a long time for sure now if you want to step it up to the next level and go into hardcore mode because you know the hardcore pets are going to definitely be much more rare and they also might be a little bit bigger in size guys well i can tell you what i started grinding it a little bit earlier there were people in the server they all left i think everyone wants to do the normal mode because it's way easier to actually do and you know what you spend a few, you know 10 minutes grinding the pumpkin candies like i just showed you and you could just sit here pretty much all day afk and letting this bad boy hatch and come back and hopefully have a huge pet in your bags that's what it's all about so let's go ahead and go over to the hardcore mode i can show you this a similar tactic to get hardcore candies as well so we're going to want to go into the void area right here now hopefully you have the hardcore mode unlocked at this point if you don't you're going to have to work on getting your masteries up so you could actually enter it but you want to basically do the same principle as i did in that last one if you're all the way to the pixel chest you're going to want to probably grind that one as well uh, now you're not going to break it instantly by any means but you're going to get a decent amount per tick and that's going to you know add up to a lot so i have 45 million right now i'm in the pixel world right here where i spawn so let's go to the vault and watch when i stick my dudes on the pixel vault see how much they give me now it's not an instant break whatsoever here 
but it does give a decent amount with the coin damage boost on of course so let's take a look at the tick when it comes in here come on guys you can do it nope i don't want to let's go let's go where's the tick guys give me a tick there it is so sixty thousand candies every single time it ticks it should start ticking probably a little bit more consistently now at that point for some reason it says i have 18 new pets i'm not quite sure what that's all about oh because i just opened up all all those pets that's right okay so it gives a decent amount enough to get you know in the millions because you're going to want to go to the shop area and the halloween event in hardcore is a little bit different guys it's a little bit different because this time you could actually start the quest series and well you could start actually opening up the hardcore eggs to get the hardcore stats so let's go ahead and go to this graveyard this is quest number one to open 10 pumpkin eggs and then you get a good amount of candies for doing so so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i think what it means is these eggs right here you actually have to hatch the pumpkin eggs itself so we're gonna go ahead and turn that on and open these up right here and hatch 10 of these so that was three and six i should have to do this only you know right here and then one more time let's go so let's just buy one to get 10 even and open that bad boy up so that should have been 10 of the pumpkin eggs and yep now i have to collect 3 million candy guys that's the next one and then i'm gonna get 10 it looks like vials for it so that's what it's gonna have you to do but i wanted to show you the difference here now so let's actually go ahead and turn on our auto settings so we can actually keep everything we hatch and this is gonna burn through your hardcore stuff really quick look at that that just ate it up super crazy guys but i want to check out the stats of, of these right here for just a moment so let's go ahead and open these up i don't have any of my actual luck vials on right now so that's not very helpful but let's go open up the bags and see what the stats are of the hardcore here here they are right here so 479 million for the actual hardcore vampire bats so this is actually a really good start for those of you that do want to keep on progressing hardcore mode it's starting in this event to actually get them done um because they're going to give you pretty decent stats in the hardcore mode you also get a halloween gift after one hour of actually playing guys so the next one wants me to get three a million of the actual candies and like i said i think the best way to do it is probably in the pixel vault area right here i think it's going to give me the most bang for my buck but another technique we can try is go into settings pet sending set it to single and let's go ahead and slap just single pets on these and see if it's actually more protect when you individually have them just sitting here for a long time breaking one of these things as opposed to all of them on the huge chest i haven't actually done this before so we're gonna find out live guys if this is actually good so let's put them all on a different one right here if we can bam there we go so let's see what the ticks are now when they come in so it's more of a consistent flow right here and as you see it's going up 30 it's actually probably the way to do it yeah this is the best way to do it guys you want to actually stick your pets on individual um things right here and you're going to be getting them way faster look at this i'm already up over 1 million i wouldn't have had that nearly as fast by just staying on the huge chest so that's definitely what you want to do right here is put your pets individually on the things and yeah you're going to be getting 3 million in no time so just talking here with you guys for a few seconds i'm almost up to completing that quest and getting the 3 million that i need so this is actually pretty exciting so there we go you completed number two return to the graveyard to see your next quest don't mind if i do guys don't mind if i do so let's go ahead and head back also a little chat no notification i think that says i completed quest number two there we go makes you feel good so we're, we're gonna go back here and see what the next quest is and pretty much continue this series on it's probably gonna get harder and harder and more annoying you're probably gonna have to break the huge pumpkin things that spawn and all that so now we have to earn 25 cursed eggs what does that mean earn 25 cursed eggs the cursed egg is right up here uh so earn it let's see if this actually so is that it just hatched is hatch equal earn yes it does you just have to hatch 25 of those bad boys so yeah that's pretty much it those are some of the strategies and the best ways for you to farm the pumpkin candies in both hardcore and normal mode guys so you could go ahead and finish the quest and hatch those huge pets so that's all i have for today guys appreciate you sticking with me on this one and we'll see you in the next one Bye bye